Hey friends, welcome back to the channel. And today I am going to do my February luxury favorite products. So I've got some beauty products like makeup and skincare. I've got some accessories. And of course I have handbags, which you can actually see one right there. So spoiler alert, you know that that one's gonna be on the list. Uh, so yeah, let's get started. If you're new, my name is Lisa. I love to do videos on beautiful things, luxury mostly, handbags, shoes, ready to wear. I love to do some styling videos. And I do those things from the perspective of someone who is in the middle of my life, as well as someone who is mid-sized. So if that sounds interesting to you, come join us, click the subscribe button down below and the notification bell, so you know when I upload videos. And with that, let's get into my favorites. So starting off with beauty and skincare, I'll do the skincare first because that's the order in which you do it, right? You put your skincare on and then you do your makeup. So first of all, I am just flattered beyond belief of all these so, so sweet comments that a lot of you have been making on my recent videos about just, just very complimentary and I just really, really appreciate it. Somebody had a good point, so I don't know if this is what's attributing to it, but I, I'm not gonna argue with it, but I, somebody said that they wonder if the fact that the renovation is done and I'm not stressed and things have, you know, allowed me to just feel better and then I guess hence look better, I, I don't know. I think personally a big part of it is because I have my makeup desk back and I didn't realize what, how like important that was to me. Not, not that I like spend all day getting ready and not like it it makes that big of a difference, but somehow, I don't know, it just, I like sitting down and doing my skincare and I think I probably am doing a much more thorough job in my skincare routine again. So I just really appreciate that. And, you know, we'll, like I said, we'll get into some skincare products in a second here, but I think that's probably a big reason why some of you think that, you know, I tend to be a little more looking glowing. All right, enough said about that. So something that I think I may have talked about this before, but it is the La Mer The Treatment Lotion. <laughs> I use this both morning and evening. It's basically, basically the first step of my skincare routine in both instances. And this was a new product that I started using probably towards the end of December, I think. And I have really, really enjoyed it. And I mean, you can see I haven't used, I mean, I've maybe, I'm not quite a quarter of the way through it. I'd probably say like, I'm maybe like a fifth, like 20% of the way through it. So, you know, it is a pricier product, but I feel like it really prepares my skin to take in the rest of my skincare products and make them more effective. So highly recommend. And uh, yeah, so the first one is the La Mer the treatment the treatment lotion i don't know why i can't remember that the second item is one that i had used for a very very long time and then i i don't know i just didn't i, I guess i forgot about that i used to use i don't know but when i was going through and decluttering and unpacking things i had a bottle that was unopened and oh my gosh am i so glad that I have this product back into my life. Some of you may, may be familiar with it. I think it sort of has a cult following. It's by Vintner's Daughter, and it looks like that. Hopefully you can see that. And it is the Active Botanical Serum. This is a very powerful, I would say, serum. It is full of botanicals that are great for your skin. The smell is divine. I think I mentioned this when I did my Instagram Live the other day when I was getting ready, and I think I talked about this product. I was influenced to buy this product by somebody who's no longer on YouTube. So this goes back, oh my gosh, probably seven years ago or so. I think her name was Stephanie Nicole. Anyway, she used to do a lot of skincare products and things. Like I said, I don't think she's on YouTube anymore, but I really, really enjoyed her videos and she raved about this product. And if you read any reviews on this product, you will get the same feedback is people absolutely love it. I think one of the titles of 
one of the articles I think that if you google it is basically like I think it's from Vogue or something like that <laughs> and it's basically I'm really sorry to break this to you but this is worth the hype like I think she was hoping the you know the the writer was hoping that she would use it and not think that it was worth it and be able to write an article that said, you know, it's not worth the hype, like why? And she was like, yeah, no, I get it. <laughs> so highly, highly recommend this product. I am so glad it is back in my life. I think it has made a huge difference. I use this in the morning. So it's basically sort of the, one of the last steps right before I put on my moisturizer. Highly, highly, highly recommend this product. I am so glad it's back in my life. All right, so the two beauty or makeup products I wanna talk about are this one from Charlotte Tilbury. Sorry, you're catching my ring light there. This is a eyeshadow quad. It is in what's called the Sophisticate, and it is essentially just a really basic, but really, really usable neutral palette. This is all matte shadows, which makes it super easy to use. And it's it's just, it's a great one and done palette. If you don't really like to do eyeshadow and you don't really know what to do, get this quad. It's it just, it's easy to use. It blends beautifully. You don't need to know a bunch of techniques or anything to use it. It's super user friendly and beginner friendly. And yeah, like I said, it's just, when I'm kind of like, eh, you know, what eyeshadow look do I want to go for? Do I want to do, no, you know what? Just grab the Charlotte Tilbury, the Sophisticate. Works every time. And the last beauty item is this powder from Givenchy. This is the Prism Libre powder. And again, if you saw my Instagram live on Sunday, I used this and I showed how it literally lifted my face. This powder is magic. <laughs> it truly is. And I've used a lot of powders and this is amazing. So I have it in the shade three violet rose. So it's basically, I don't know if you're gonna be able to tell on camera, but it's four different shades of kind of pinky and lilac-y shades. And then when you, obviously it comes through that I don't want to tip it here because <laughs> it's all going to fall out, but it, there's like a sifter on top. And so then when you you know, make it come up, then all the four colors mix together and do their magic. And since I saw that technique, I've been using the powder for a while. I just like it as a finishing powder, but I saw this specific technique of putting it, like kind of pressing it in right along your like marionette line, you know, your nasal labial fold lines. And, you know, obviously I was always using it underneath my eyes to set my concealer. But I saw this TikTok where this woman did it on camera and I was like, that is life changing. I'm going to do that. And oh my gosh, like, I mean, like I said, I did it on the live and I did just this one side and I was like asking you guys, um, do you see this? Do you, do you see the difference between this side and this side? Unbelievable. If you are somebody in the middle of your life, go get this powder and use that technique. Game changing. Okay, let's move on to accessories. I have two favorite accessories for this month. The first is a pair of sunglasses and they are from Chanel. I'll put them on for you. A very classic shape. I, I think they sort of call this a cat eye. I, to me, it's like a round with a little cat eye. Like it's not really, cat eye to me is truly like more like that, but a lot of times they call these cat eyes. Anyway, I love the detail on the side of this. I've had these for quite a while. They were in storage, so they are just now back in my life and very happy that they are. So let me kind of pull that up so you can see. So there's the CC there and then this gold kind of detailing on the side. But yeah, they're just a really, and these, I'm trying to remember if these are black or if they are more of like a tortoise shell. I can't tell because it's dark out right now, but anyway, loving these. Sorry, I know you're seeing the ring light. I'll try to keep my head down so you don't see that, but yeah, loving these. Super flattering, I think, on lots of different face shapes. So accessory number one, this pair of sunglasses from Chanel. 
The second accessory, and or I should say second and last accessory that we're gonna talk about is actually something that I'm wearing, so I will stand up in momentarily here, but it is my Celine Triumph belt in the black, I don't know, black leather with a gold hardware. I'll pop a picture up here so you can see it more in detail. But like I said, I'll stand up here and show it to you because I'm wearing the belt today. So uh, I just didn't feel like taking it off for the video. So I love this belt. It goes with everything. I had forgotten in my dupes video to show you that I actually have a dupe of this belt and I bought it off of Oh, some Instagram, like comment, comments, maybe like C-O-M-M-E-N-S-E, -M -M -E -E, something like that. I think that's the website. Anyway, it's just, I bought it in the sort of natural tan, basically like the same color of my Celine Romy bag. Yeah, it's, it's pretty much the same color, but there are no logos on it. It doesn't say Celine on it, but it's pretty much the, you know, the Triumph buckle but with no Celine, right? There's no writing on it whatsoever. So I got that belt a while ago, sometime last year, and I really, really liked it. And so then I ended up, it was one of those that was like, okay, you like this one. So now you know, and you can get the Celine one. So I love this black one. It's not reversible. That's probably the only thing that I would say they could improve on this belt is if they could somehow make it reversible, sort of like my Ferragamo one is. But I had this one before I got the Ferragamo one, actually, and I still love that and I think it's great. And I love the fact that that one has more of like a kind of a cream color that it reverses to. So I have kind of all of my colors covered <laughs> as far as like a thinner you know I think this is like maybe like a one inch or so belt but anyway I will stand up and show you and then uh, we'll move on to shoes okay so here's the Celine belt it's you know, very exciting I know <laughs> but you know I love the way it looks it just is the perfect finishing touch for any outfit and yeah I just I think a belt is one of the best ways to update an outfit for not a lot of money and it just can really elevate your whole look. All right, the shoes that I have been getting a lot of use out of right now have been my Lueve sneakers. So you know, for a while I was really, really heavily wearing my, basically my Hermes black sneakers. And then if I wanted a white sneaker, I was wearing my Steve Madden sneakers. And because I've been trying to wear some more neutral outfits, not and light neutrals, I should say, you know, more like creams, beiges, etc. I have been wearing these shoes a lot. And I love the fact that this ties black, beige, and white all together. So it goes with a plethora of outfits. So if you're not familiar with these shoes, they're called, I think the Flow Runner. Am I getting that right? Or am I confusing that with a Fendi sneaker. I'll have the name up here. <laughs> but anyway, these only come in whole sizes. So I did get these in a size 39. I am generally a pretty standard 38 and a half, especially in sneakers with most designer, you know, luxury sneakers. Because they only come in half sizes, the 38 just felt a little bit too tight. And obviously I didn't want that. So I obviously went up to the 39, but I just love these. They do come with a, another pair of laces in the black. So if you wanted, you know, not the white and to go a little more with the darker theme, you I could switch those out for the black laces. But yeah, I love these. You can see they're, you know, not super, super well-worn. I've got like a rock stuck in there but anyway love these they are really really comfortable if you are looking for a comfortable pair of sneaker and they come in all sorts of different color combinations they have you know sort of a white and cream so a very 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 neutral one they come in black with the white Luebe you know L thing uh, lots of different color combinations so just Check it out. By the way, I will have everything linked in the description box below if you wanna shop for any of these items so you can check those out. But lots of different colors, probably like I said, unless you are a true whole size, I would recommend going up to the next whole size. So if you're a half size, I would recommend going up. There we go. 
All right, so last but not least, let's look at the two favorite handbags for the month of February. The first is this little beauty that you guys saw me unbox earlier in the month. I have just been loving the heck out of this bag. And Meredith, look, I took the stickers off. <laughs> I did that just for you. It's so pretty with them. It, it really is. I need to be better about taking stickers off of things because it really, really does just make the whole bag look better when the hardware is shiny. But this is just such a great, great bag. Very, very glad that Dale getting it, just like I said, just pushed me right over the edge of the fence. I had been looking at this bag and tried it on and thinking and thinking and you know I obviously done a lot of purchases in Paris a couple months before and was trying to be good and yeah I just once I saw her unbox it and I was like yeah no I'm ordering it so unfortunately they are sold out of the mini size I do know because I had one of you lovely subscribers reached out because you were trying to get a hold of this bag and I reached out to Ross to see if he could find any and he said they were sold out at, at least in the United States they're sold out but they do have some of the regular size in the in this metallic crinkled metallic so if you're interested in that I will try to link that below for you. Uh, however, I did find out that that subscriber, I think, I think she's going to get one. I won't tell you where she's getting it from because I don't want her to have any competition, <laughs> but my fingers are crossed for her that she will get her bag. So it is amazing. I'm so glad I have it. And like I said, I think personally, this is absolutely seasonless and I think was an amazing addition to my collection. And the last but not least, you saw it sitting there. It is my Evelyn PM, another bag that was in storage and that I am thrilled beyond belief to have back in my collection. Now, I agree with a lot of you. I do wish that Hermes, we've all been saying it, could, could we just do one sort of in between this size and the TPM? Don't get me wrong, I think the TPM is great and I, I was thrilled that I had mine. I did sell that in my recent vlog sale. So the subscriber who picked that up, theirs is winging their way or driving their way, I don't remember, <laughs> over to her. And I'm thrilled that she will get that. And it was a beautiful bag, just not my color. But I think if they could, like I said, if they could just shrink this bag by like 20%, it would be the absolute chef's kiss Goldilocks side. Uh, but I do still love this one. I mean, yes, it's a little bit big and I, I never really fill it by any means, but I do like the option of, you know, like I said, if it's the winter like this and it, I can throw my gloves in there, you know, if we go inside somewhere and I can just throw my gloves on the top or if I have a scarf, something like that. But I love the back pocket. You can, it's perfect for your phone. And it's in the bottom here. Oh, some, <laughs> some perfume like blotter cards. I was like, what is in there? <laughs> anyway, you know, nothing inside here. It's just the raw leather. I do have an insert that I got from Samorga for this bag. Uh, this was my very, very first Hermes bag that actually David bought for me from the old Madison Avenue boutique here in New York. So just the perfect casual bag. It's a great bag here in New York. You know, wouldn't probably take it to Paris because of the pickpocketing and things. And, you know, it's pretty easy to get your hand in there. So unless I could wear it like under a coat, I generally wouldn't travel with this particular bag. But I don't have that concern here in New York. So I don't have any problems wearing it. And I just, I just love it. The two for me is the perfect neutral you know, aside from black, obviously. <laughs> but I mean, when it comes to like a lighter, neutrally neut neutral, does that make any sense? A neutrally neutral, yeah. Mull on that for a little bit. <laughs> uh, but it just, it's perfect for me. Like I said, gold was not my color as much as I love it and I'm, as much as I love it on other people. It just, it wasn't for me. But now I know a tube is my color and yeah, just so happy to have this one back. 
So there you have it, guys, the nine luxury favorites for the month of February. I hope you enjoyed this video and, you know, maybe found something that you want to add to your wish list or to your collection. Like I said, I'll have shopping links down in the description box, but let me know what were some of your favorite items that you used in the month of February. I love seeing, you know, all the different things that you guys use. And while I may not be able to participate in buying any of those, I love to live vicariously through your favorites as well. So don't forget to put those in the comments. If you enjoyed the video, I would love it if you would give it a thumbs up. And if you haven't subscribed and like this kind of content and, you know, some styling, and now we're doing a little bit of low buy, no buy content here, you know, consider subscribing to the channel. I would love to have you here. If you haven't had enough of me yet, <laughs> I will pop another video up here for you to watch. And wherever you are, I hope you are having an amazing day or evening, and I will catch you in the next one. Bye, guys.